When you are making your website responsive, you also have to make headings and text responsive. In this video, I show you a simple yet powerful solution. One line of code that makes responsive font sizes really easy. I'm happy to show you the result of that one line of code. I have an H1 here and a P element there. And when I make my screen smaller, as you can see, the font will smoothly shrink. When I make it bigger, the font size will get bigger. Back in the days, I used multiple media queries to make headings and text look good on desktop and smaller screens. We set the font size and change it at multiple breakpoints like this. This method is very time consuming and it's not fluid. Let me show you. When I make my screen smaller, you can see it feels a little bit jerky to work with uh, breakpoints. There is also a good chance that the font sizes on various resolutions will fall between the cracks, especially when you work with bigger font sizes. Sometimes I see people using a viewport width unit to make the font size responsive. This is not a good idea. Even though it looks fluid, when I set this to desktop and I'm going to zoom, as you can see it won't work. The paragraph element is getting bigger than the H1, which is really bad for accessibility. Another downside is that the font size is depending on the complete viewport width of your screen. So you have no control at which resolution the font size has to get smaller or bigger. The solution is using clamp. Let me show you how it works. Instead of having one value with clamp, you can set multiple values. So we use clamp here. And you can apply a minimal value, a preferred value, and a max value. The preferred value should be a variable unit, like we used before. So let's say 2VW. Now for the minimal value, we can set 30 pixels as an example, and 60. Now the maximum value is 60, minimal is 30, and this is the variable unit. This is a little bit tricky to explain, so let me show you. First, let me reset my zoom to 100%. And let's say at a resolution of 1920, I want to set the font size to 50. So the preferred font size. To calculate this VW value, we need to divide 50 by 1920 and then do it times 100 and then you got this exact value of 2.6 so let me add this here VW. when i go back now as you can see this value is 50. when i'm going to make my screen bigger the value now is 60. When I make it smaller, the minimal value will be 30. When I make it even smaller, it stays 30. So minimum is 30. Preferred value for based on the resolution of 1920 is 50. And the maximum value is 60. To be honest, I find this a hassle to calculate for every heading and still don't have control from and to what resolution the font size is allowed to change. To make that happen, we need to add a fourth value, which makes the calculation more difficult. Fortunately, there is a calculation tool that makes my life easier. This tool is created by Adrian and makes it simple and visible to get the right values. You can find the link in the description. By entering the minimal value and the maximal value and playing around with the fluid size and the relative size you get to the wished result so let's say i got 30 and 60 like before and now i see from a resolution of 2200 the font size will get smaller from 60 till 30. now let's say i want to make the font size smaller from 1920 pixels. I play around with this. So this is close enough. I, then I can copy this clamp. I go here, I replace it. Then I go back to my demo, refresh it. And as you can see, nothing happens. 
but at 900, 1920, my font size will get smaller. And then around 600, my font size won't get smaller than 30 pixels. This is amazing. With a little help of this tool, I set all my font sizes, not only for an H1 or H2 element, but also for my body text. I even use clamp for creating various spaces. So say goodbye to media queries for font sizes. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from it. If so, please let me know in the comments and see you in the next one.